So to demonstrate the copy word count, I'm going to create a project in Studio. I'll base it on a template that I've got set up here just to speed things up a little bit. I'll give it a name. I'll follow my little naming convention here. So the year, the month, the date, and give it a name. Whoop, cut to the chase. Next, I've got to probably just skip at this point, but I'll go through. So I've got four languages. I'm going to drop some files in here. I'm going to translate just three files. So an Excel file and two Word files. I'll just go next through this. I could just click finish because I know that it's doing the right thing, but just to show you. So I have four TMs set up here. Um, no, no turn bases, I'm not going to run the perfect match. And I've just got a custom test set up, so just, just an anal analyze them. I could have just as easily used the defaults, but I'll just finish at that point. So Studio runs through, completes the analysis. I'll close at that point. And now I can navigate to the reports view where I should find the reports. And in here, once the reports have loaded, I can see the analyzed reports for um, Italian, French, Spanish, and German. I can also do it that way. Um, and just look at the analyzed report for the individual languages. But each time I do that, you can see I have to wait for it to load. I get all this information, which is all very interesting but probably the only bit I'm really interested in is this stuff down here and possibly by, by file. And what I also might like to have is one there uh, is a report, sorry, that covers a report that covers the entire project. So getting this information out um, is, is a little bit time consuming if I want to be able to use it for anything useful. So if I click back over on the projects and let me show you how the copy word count works. So if I wanted a project summary or a project um, analysis report here, I could just right click, select copy word counts, and then I can go to wherever I want to put it. So if I wanted to put it into an Excel file, at this point I can just press Control V to paste, or I can click on here, paste, and that puts my a summary of the entire project by language straight into Excel, which is really simple. Very fast, really simple. If I wanted to do something into an email, I won't bother saving that. Let's say, for example, I open the, open the project, and maybe because it looks as though Spanish had quite a bit of work, let's click on the Spanish files. So in here, I can pick all of the files. I just select the files for Spanish, right click, copy word counts. Rather than Excel this time, this time I'll go to um, Outlook and just paste straight into Outlook and there I've got the analysis results for just those files which were for Spanish all nicely formatted and ready to go which is really smart really easy to use and then I can send the email off and if I wanted it just straightforward into a note file which I didn't write about in the article I could just do the same thing and put it in there you'll notice it all looks very similar to what used to come out of the old charters and um, I think this is a format that people have perhaps been missing. It's nice and simple, straightforward, and allows you to do whatever you want with it. And it's certainly very, very quick. No waiting for reports to load, no navigating backwards and forwards between different languages. Really straightforward, simple, and to the point. Cutting to the chase.